Welcome to The Danny Thomas Show, a classic TV series from 1953 that takes you into the hilarious world of Danny Williams, a comedian navigating the ups and downs of family life. With its simple charm and relatable humor, the show quickly became a favorite among audiences. As you dive into the series, you'll encounter a variety of roles played by the talented cast. Which character stole your heart? Was it the witty Danny Williams himself or one of the other memorable personalities? Keep your eyes peeled for some surprising, funny, and even touching moments that lie ahead. Wondering which classic Hollywood actor makes an appearance? Share your thoughts on your favorite star from the show. Before you go on this journey, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this timeless series? Drop your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to connect with fellow fans. So, who's your favorite character or classic Hollywood actor from The Danny Thomas Show? And what's your most cherished memory? Stay tuned for more interesting facts and moments. Keep watching, there's plenty more in store. In the early 1950s, when Danny Thomas transitioned to television with his series known as The Danny Thomas Show or Make Room for Daddy, it marked a pivotal moment in his career. Thomas, a talented singer and comedian, had dabbled in various musical and acting roles on the big screen. However, the changing landscape of the film industry prompted him to embrace television. The show centered around Danny Williams, a nightclub performer portrayed by Thomas, who navigated the challenges of parenting without a wife eager to enter show business. Initially, Jean Hagen played the role of his content spouse, but after three years, she departed, leading to the introduction of Marjorie Lord as Thomas's on-screen wife for the remainder of the series. During its run, The Danny Thomas Show fell into the category of Father is an Idiot sitcoms prevalent at the time. The dynamic between Thomas and his on-screen son, Rusty Hamer, often showcased the son's disrespectful attitude toward his father. Such interactions, commonplace on television in that era, contrast sharply with contemporary norms. Regrettably, Rusty Hamer's life took a tragic turn after the show ended. A former child star, he faced personal struggles that culminated in his untimely death by suicide when his career waned. While the familial dynamics and comedic elements played a significant role in the show, the highlight for many viewers was Danny Thomas's performances, which included songs and stand-up comedy. Additionally, the character of Uncle Tanus, portrayed by Hans Conrad, added a demanding yet humorous touch to the series. In retrospect, The Danny Thomas Show holds a place in television history as a representative of the fatherhood sitcoms of its time. Despite its focus on familial humor, the real-life struggles of Rusty Hamer serve as a poignant reminder of the complexities behind the scenes. The theme song of the series, a jazzed-up rendition of the traditional Irish tune The Londonderry Air, set the tone for The Danny Thomas Show. This classic TV series, based on 14 years of Danny Thomas's real-life experiences, portrayed the comedian as an entertainer striving to balance his career with family time. The central conflict revolved around his earnest desire to spend quality moments with his loved ones. A notable supporting character that resonated with viewers was Uncle Tonus, skillfully portrayed by Hans Conrad. Interestingly, Danny Thomas had an actual Uncle Tonus, adding a personal touch to the character. Uncle Tonus's presence injected humor into the series, offering a demanding yet amusing dynamic that complemented the family-centric theme. The show's simplicity and relatable humor quickly endeared it to audiences. The nuanced performances of the cast, coupled with Danny Thomas's own stand-up comedy and musical contributions, created a well-rounded viewing experience. The series navigated the challenges of parenting and familial relationships, capturing the essence of the fatherhood sitcoms prevalent during its time. In retrospect, The Danny Thomas Show holds a unique place in television history, not only for its comedic elements, but also for the authentic portrayal of family dynamics. The incorporation of real-life inspirations like Uncle Tonus added a layer of authenticity that resonated with viewers. The series remains a timeless representation of the era's sitcom landscape, showcasing the delicate balance between work and family life. Penny Parker secured the role of Terry, beating out Mary Tyler Moore, chosen by Danny Thomas due to the perceived dissimilarity of Moore's nose to his own. Thomas aimed to maintain authenticity, ensuring the audience wouldn't easily believe Moore was his on-screen daughter. Interestingly, Terry Williams, portrayed by Sherry Jackson and later by Penny Parker, vanished from the show's narrative after 1960. 
the character faced a peculiar absence, remaining unmentioned throughout the final four years of the series. The American Tobacco Company, notably featuring cigarette brands like Lucky Strike, Paul Mall, and Territon, sponsored the show initially. This affiliation reflected the advertising landscape of the time, where tobacco companies played a prominent role in supporting television productions. The Danny Thomas Show, a sitcom born out of the comedian's real-life experiences, managed to strike a chord with audiences through its simplicity and relatable humor. Uncle Tanus, portrayed by Hans Kenride, brought a demanding yet humorous dynamic resonating with viewers. The absence of Terry after 1960 remains a distinctive quirk, adding an element of mystery to the show's later episodes. Rusty Hamer, known for his role as Rusty Williams in The Joey Bishop Show, made multiple appearances in The Danny Thomas Show, showcasing his versatility as an actor. The episodes titled The Joey Bishop Show Rusty Arrives, The Joey Bishop Show Joey Entertains Rusty's Fraternity, and The Joey Bishop Show Rusty's Education featured Hamer's portrayal of Rusty Williams, adding a layer of continuity to his on-screen presence. In a noteworthy parallel, an episode from The Danny Thomas Show bears resemblance to The Andy Griffith Show, possibly serving as an inspiration. The episode in question, akin to The Andy Griffith Show Dinner at 8 from Season 7, presents a familial setting with a twist. While The Andy Griffith Show opts for spaghetti, The Danny Thomas Show substitutes it with lasagna, showcasing subtle variations in family dinner dynamics. An interesting facet of The Danny Thomas Show is its role in launching the television career of Angela Cartwright. Cartwright's inclusion in the series marked a significant step in her journey within the entertainment industry, paving the way for her future contributions to the world of television. The show's theme song, a jazzed-up rendition of the traditional Irish tune The Londonderry Air, became synonymous with The Danny Thomas Show's tone. Reflecting 14 years of Danny Thomas's real-life experiences, the series portrayed the comedian as an entertainer striving to balance his career with family time. The central conflict centered around his earnest desire to spend quality moments with his loved ones. Penny Parker secured the role of Terry, prevailing over Mary Tyler Moore due to perceived facial dissimilarity. Thomas aimed for authenticity, ensuring the audience wouldn't easily perceive Moore as his on-screen daughter. Interestingly, Terry Williams, portrayed by Sherry Jackson and later by Penny Parker, disappeared from the show's narrative after 1960, adding a peculiar mystery to the series' later episodes. The Danny Thomas Show, born out of the comedian's real-life experiences, resonated with audiences through its simplicity and relatable humor. Uncle Tanus, portrayed by Hans Conrad, added a demanding yet humorous dynamic, becoming a resonant supporting character. The show's unique quirks, like the absence of Terry after 1960, contribute to its distinctiveness in the sitcom landscape. 